as a kid, those were pretty rad. Buy it. Buy it. Oh, just missing. Missing. Wolverine. Wolverine? Oh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of this corner. Probably one of my favorite things I've ever found in a very long time. And Anthony was looking at it, and I literally said, I'm not going to lie, what I say to you? Please tell me you don't want that. Do you want it? Hopefully you don't want it. If you don't, please give me it. I'll was, do anything. I was basically pleading <laughs> with him, like, please tell me you don't want that. You know, Ricky was just here. Oh, snap. Like, no joke, he texted me like two minutes ago. He's like, all right, I'm leaving. Do you want my parking spot? Hey, he found some dope stuff, though. Any Furbies? No, no uh, Furbies, but he found some sweet toys. Really cool <laughs> toys. You got to find a Furby. We, we missed out. Okay. Yeah. We found out the Furby was worth more. That's not all that matters, but for two bucks and we passed up on a, a different one yeah, last girlfriend week. girlfriend almost broke up with me because I passed up on one. Girlfriend so. was upset at you. I was upset at myself for not picking. Maybe it's still here though, because it was, in, kinda, it was in like a junkie spot. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Pursuit. Sit back, enjoy the ride. We're on our way. One track, no turning back. Forget yesterday. Rolled up here. I already saw, it looks like, like a grandma troll, bro. Straight up. Troll in a car. Oh, Mr. Potato Head. I guess we look like a couple creeps. So that didn't take long at all. We just got in here and within, within seconds, bought both of those trolls. But then I also bought this ET, which I already have it, but this one has a universal sticker on it. And as you know, we say the sticker makes it sicker. And we, uh, I love the sticker on it. Universal is a cool thing too, which I need to visit. Anthony was saying they're opening up again soon. Yeah, I, I, I think need... they got the food thing open right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go back. I haven't gone ever since I've been like an adult and I think I'd enjoy it way more now. So cool finds right when I walked in. Oh, uh, three bucks for all. So totally take it. Love this one. We got Cyclops. Cyclops. Who else is that? We got Sabretooth. Ooh, Sabretooth is so, look how dope Sabretooth is. Though. The really old school it. version. This yeah. one. By Toy Biz. Two out of the three. By, oh, just missing. Missing. Wolverine. Wolverine? But why does he have a gun? Why does he have a gun? Hey, bro, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Just rolled up to this spot. It's pretty cool. Looks like they have a lot of like vintage oh, Disney stuff. Ooh. <laughs> Kind of scary. Doesn't say she's a demon, she says she's the devil himself. <laughs> Honestly. But yeah, we gotta go check all this out. Look at all that. Yo, they got Captain Crunch straight up. Ooh, actually, this Gumby shampoo is low-key pretty sick from 87. Wow. Like a Donald Duck. Oh, like a gumball refill. Is it that? Yeah, it's like it, bowling. I think it's a gumball refill. Oh, look with the purse on there still. So. See, that's what makes it cool. Look at this. You ever watch Gumby? Yeah. This but, place is filled with a lot of cool stuff. Look at these old Mickey Mouse kazoos. Oh, shoot. A Garfield watch. OG. Wow, Caution, dude. Caution, if used by small children, remove bells. Please remove <laughs> it from existing. <laughs> wow. What year is that from? Can you say on the back? Uh, the down at 93. So not too OG, but still OG. Yeah, that's it's cool. OG for a young boy like you. Bruh. Wow. When I was a kid, those were pretty rad. Wow. They got Kermit from Treasure Island, 1978. Bro. 1978. Sweet, sweet lord. Okay, they, they didn't have that you one. You are old. Yeah. <laughs> M&M's. You guys know how I am with the m and stuff. Oh, boy. Let's see. M&M's dispenser. Gotta check out more in the back. Oh yeah, this is OG. I did have sexual relations with that woman. Holy crap, Anthony. Please tell me you don't want that. I don't know. Oh bro, why? Please, please bro, I'll do anything. I mean, oh. I'll, 
I'll even Bill Clinton you. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. Still see it. All right, I gotta act. I'm gonna act like I'm out of Got the t-shirt too? Yeah. Wow, that's actually fire, dude. All right. All right. To be honest, if I'm fully honest, probably one of my favorite things I've ever found in a very long time. And Anthony was looking at it and I literally said, I'm not gonna lie, what I say to you? Please tell me you don't want that. Do you want it? Hopefully you don't want it. If you don't, please give me it. I'll was, do anything. I was basically pleading with him, like, please tell me you don't want that. 19, oh. Gotta hold that first. A 1989 Batman cereal box, but. The adventure continues. Now with Batman, the cereal. And nothing can slow him down. Nothing can stop him from bringing it to you. It's here. A smashing taste. A honey nut flavored part of your complete breakfast. Batman. It's closed and it's not opened. The cereal's not eaten. It's in pretty good condition. It doesn't come with the t-shirt. You have to do three proofs of purchase to get one. But good God, this is so beautiful. I've seen these like on eBay and stuff, but people are selling just the box and open. And the first guy wanted it for 10, but I went over and talked to one of the homies and I got this and another thing for 12 bucks total. A 19, I think it's 92 or 93 Batman watch. Still closed, still sealed, looks pretty, looks beautiful. I mean, just look at these two things together like this. Oh my, 12 bucks for both of these. This is the ton of, kind of stuff if I was buying it on Mercari or something, that it, you drop so much more money. Someone would charge you like 25 bucks just for this. These, I don't know, they range. People try to charge sometimes 20 bucks, sometimes 50 bucks or something like this. Anthony, I owe you my life for giving it up to me, bro. Yeah, you do. Do I though? Just call it even, you trained me, so we're good. I trained him at our job. <laughs> All right, we're even. That's why you screw up so much at work. <laughs> this is sick. That is pretty fire right there. Pretty skinny, too, for an old CRT. Not too wide. Wow. There's the newer He-Mans, but then look at all this. OG stuff right here, looking good, looking clean. Some Jurassic World stuff with the JW on the side, let you know it's legit. Some controllers, some games, PlayStation, nothing I need too bad. This is pretty cool though, this is for the Sega Genesis. I do like this, I do like this. I skipped on that last time I was here. Just wanted to point out that in the last episode of these, I saw this same controller and said I bought it, but I didn't, I got confused because I bought it the next time I went, which is this video. So when I was editing the first time I saw it, I said that I bought it because I really did buy it, but I didn't buy it on that trip. I bought it this week. Anthony, I just bought the SG Pro Pad for five bucks. Nice. Pretty, pretty cool looking. I've been wanting, I wanted this one last time we were here. I think last time he wanted 10 and today he only wanted five. Maybe because it sat here for a week. Yeah. But it's worked for the Sega Genesis and I've never tried this one. I've played like the Super Nintendo version of these type of controllers, but never the Genesis one. So try it out at home later and check. He said it works, so I'll take it. I'm very happy today. To be honest, with Batman things and this, two things I love. What'd you buy, bro? You know a little thing for the office? Avengers Ultron with the shield and Captain America. Oh, How much? Sick. Four bucks. That's worth it, bro. Yeah, that's, looks that's sick. That's gonna look cool. You have a pretty cool uh, display working at yeah, the office. With the Thanos, now with this one. Dang, bro, you're Gucci gang. You're sick. <laughs> you have Corona. <clears throat> Everybody panic! Oh my God! Dude, stop, we're around people. That yeah, one's I've really seen cool. This from a distance, I was like, that I like that little remix with Mater and the alien. Ooh, the <laughs> What's up, bro? You bought another pop? Yeah, this one just caught my attention because it was just so colorful. That this is really cool, remix. to be honest, bro. Show us. And then, 
Ooh. Later. The nice job, Mikey. Hey, Mikey! <laughs> They're not that cool, so. All right, I grabbed some VH VHS tapes. Uh, something hot to look for, Anthony, why I told you is horror stuff or thriller stuff does really well with VHS, not only because it's cool, but for resale as well, for VHS. So I got The Fear, Halloween Night, Sealed. I got Cape Fear, which I actually do like. And then The Watcher with Keanu Reeves. And then another thing that I got, I think one of the coolest ones is this Blockbuster blank VHS tape. The reason it's cool is A, it's Blockbuster, B, it's unused, there's nothing recorded, and C, it comes with all the cool stickers inside where you can like customize it to have like, put your name on and everything. You know what people did a lot back in the day with these homemade VHS tapes, right? Oh. What, I can recorded imagine. like Wheel of Fortune? And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're sick, bro. This is messed up, bro. I don't like how you think like that. Aren't you? This is a pure channel. When oh, you okay. come on, getting all sick and disgusting. I'm offended, honestly. I'm offended that you're offended by me taking offense. so different. Oh, sorry, bro. I guess we look like a couple creeps. You looking at Luigi right now, bro? Yeah, looks kind of tight. He is pretty beautiful. Pretty tall, too. Yeah, like me. Beautiful and tall. Wow, okay. Little last minute pickup for Ant-Man on the way out. Got a Mario and Luigi? Look at that, bro. Hey, it's kind of like me and you. <laughs> also, got to give a quick shout out to Larry. Awesome dude we just met. He, he said I look I look shorter on camera and I'm much taller in person. I'm six foot, if that is any clarification. And he said he didn't even realized that I had tattoos. I was like, oh, <laughs> nice. But Larry, you're a cool dude. Nice meeting you, bro. It's a new day. All right, before this video in particular is over, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of this corner. There's been a few people that have kind of asked about this corner because recently, like maybe a few months ago, I opened up this whole back area. So some people are like, hey, show us kind of what you've done to like fill the void, fill the gaps to kind of fill out this area. And it's definitely an area that I like better even than all of this stuff back here, even though I do like a lot of the stuff back there, which I can show you guys another time as well. But for now, let me show you guys kind of what I put back here. Pretty cool stuff, some of my favorites. So on the edge, on the left, is these shelves, which is definitely knickknack central. There is a lot of Simpson stuff. Yeah, the lighting is gonna be bad right now. I don't have all the lighting set up. A lot of random goodies from Zerg to different Stranger Things things to uh, some characters from Rampage back there, Hook, Pac-Man stuff, Iron Man, Ninja Turtles, Tetris, some boxes, Mr. Potato Head, Rex, Slinky, ooh, Last Action Hero, some more Mario guys. Then on this shelf is pretty much where I put most of my Star Wars stuff, almost all of it still, well, all of the stuff in the box is still never been opened, anything like that. A lot of the VHS is back there. The Taco Bell, little happy, what do they call them from Taco Bell? Just kids meals, something like that. Again, a lot of rent, ooh, Treasure Island, a lot of random stuff right here. Ooh, California Raisins, The Joker, Zelda, more random stuff here, Fallout, Rubber Ducky, more toys, a broken Mario that I got on an episode not too long ago, Snoopy random stuff like that keep moving down batman genesis dick tracy jurassic park star wars again mixed and matched everywhere flintstone stuff down here more flintstone stuff cereal down here beauty and the beast <laughs> some double dragon stuff double dragon vhs double dragon characters more of this stuff just kind of random look at all that stuff just everything everywhere Ooh, and that it's one of the only things that remained from this episode, from uh, the original Retro Liberty days that Russ Lyman sent us before we were friends with him. That is this side when you first walk in, a lot of knick-knacky random stuff, no rhyme or reason, just colorful and bright. Before I go on to this shelf right here, I'm gonna show some stuff over here just to kind of mix up the video so you're not staring at shelves for too long. So this is top shelf right here on this whole thing is a lot of random stuff as well. Napoleon Dynamite, stuff I've drawn, biker mice, uh, gargoyles, and random, like I said. Here is most of my boxed, Genesis games, there's more back there behind these games, obviously. A bunch back there behind these ones on the side. A lot of games right here with some random figurines. Again, even more down here. And I also, ooh, there's some of my, my watches that I have that I really like as well. 
And then underneath you got a Nomad, an Xbox, and more boxed games. Some of my Furbies that I've been getting, really love those, really been getting into those. This awesome VCR, VHS, DVD combo TV that Ricky got me for free from a garage sale from actually an old friend of ours. Uh, also, by the way, some have asked, there's my loose Genesis games as they're being built right around the corner. But yeah, I absolutely love this little area right there. It looks so cool, looks so pretty to me. I really love it. And right next to it, obviously the Switch kiosk, right next to it, right there. I do have this Xbox One S hooked up right there. Going in, everything's hooked up to a landline, so everything works quick and fast. Then below it, you have a lot of my M&M stuff, not all of it, but look at that, a lot of M&M stuff right there, more M&Ms right there, along with there, the Simpsons toys that Ricky just gave me, and a lot, a lot of stuff that I think from far away just looks really cool like that. I think it looks beautiful all together. Next to that, you have, ooh, the Sega 20th Anniversary Sonic the Hedgehog E3 t-shirt that was recently given to me by Chubbs B Gaming. And then you got this shelf right up here. Let me show you a little more in detail. Again, this one is a lot like this wall, very knickknacky, but also my stuff that has a little bit more color to it because this is kind of the background of the show when I'm doing videos talking about stuff and I love bright and colorful stuff. This next one, guys, I'm actually working with My Retro Life, Tyler, a video about a brief history of Happy Meals. It's gonna be done in a little bit more documentary style, so I won't go over these too much, but yeah. A lot of really cool Happy Meals, a lot of really cool Happy Meal toys in here. A very, very much in love with that shelf, one of my favorite shelves. And again, going down below, oh, I'm still missing the Peach Rabbit and I have not had any luck finding her. I have her saved in Mercari and I have not found her. And again, more bright, colorful stuff. Anything that I have that's very colorful, very poppy, you can see all the little toys I've been getting for a while now on the show, I put on this shelf because I absolutely love and adore the way it looks on that shelf. Also here, just got a couple figures kind of holding some things down from far away to kind of make it look nice and poppy. And my signs right here as well, along with my awesome gift from Edward, our NES Pursuit video game, and randomly Metroid stuff with uh, Aladdin stuff right there. Again, I don't have all my lighting set up perfectly, but you can see from a distance, uh, this corner, this wall is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite corners by far that I have. Honestly, my most proud corner that I've ever had in our show, even in our old show, again, because of its beauty, its simplicity, and functionality of sitting down and actually, you know, relaxing in this room. All this works. There is a Retrocade hooked up in there with retro games. Also have my Xbox hooked up so I can actually sit back and play. I have four controllers in here as well, the TVs and everything. And just like that, that's what I have on that side. Very thankful uh, that I was able to do that just by buying a storage unit to put outside of my house. Was able to clear all of this room just for that. And it's made the world of a difference, not just for simplicity of being able to actually play and enjoy more room, but to put more stuff and just enjoy this as a whole. So very excited, very thankful I have that. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it as always. Got a lot of NES Pursuit expansion pack videos coming. I've been going quite a bit, a one on the weekends, just stopping by for a little bit been finding some really cool stuff so stick around for those if you want but thanks for watching again really super awesome super cool you never have to watch you don't have to do anything i don't you don't need to subscribe and do whatever if you want to subscribe you'll subscribe without me telling you that's it so thanks for watching Adios.